Hi, I'm Dave Aaron. I'm here at Rock Hill, South Carolina at Westminster Park. Right behind me is the Catawba River. You can see it is completely like flooding over. Uh, all the trees directly behind me, this road here that my car is close by, uh, it's completely flooded over. Right behind me you can see a sign here. The sign says stop and it says high water closed. So I was coming down here, felt out of the Holy Spirit just to see God's nature, just to relax in his creation, rest in him. And as I was looking at all this, I was just amazed and just praying to God saying, do you have a word about any of this? And I just felt led of the Holy Spirit that uh, physically in the natural, I would obey this sign. This sign says stop. It says high water closed. So in the natural, I would obey this sign. I would not take my car and drive where this road used to be because it's flooded with water and somebody would probably have to pull me out. But in the spirit, it's different. In the spirit, when the river of the Holy Spirit flows and it overflows, it's only there for so long. You see all these trees behind me, normally water wouldn't be flooding over them. As a matter of fact, this only happens once in a while. In Isaiah 55, Isaiah chapter 55, with verse six, it says, seek the Lord while he may be found, call on him while he is near. And also in the same chapter, the first verse, it says, come ye unto the waters. Those who are thirsty, come ye unto the waters. So you see, God wants you to be flooded over by the Holy Spirit. He wants you to enjoy the river of the Holy Spirit. So it's God's will for us to jump in the river, amen, and let the river overtake us. These waters here will recede soon, they'll be gone, and it'll only just be for a time that this will be dry land again, and you'll be able to drive a car over it. But one thing people will see is the watermark that's left on these trees. See, these trees are saturated with water. And as soon as this water recedes, there's gonna be a watermark that's left. That's how God wants to do with us. He wants to leave a mark on us, which is by the Holy Spirit. So anytime that God comes with his Holy Spirit, the presence of his Holy Spirit, whether it's in revival or an outpouring of the Holy Spirit, he wants us to join in. He wants us to take part in what he's doing because it'll change us from glory to glory. Right now, like I said, it's a time of a lot of rain, storms. There's even a couple tornadoes close to the area, the town I live, uh, Concord, Kannapolis area. And there was a lot of heavy rain, there was a lot of flooding. But this isn't the norm. It doesn't happen all the time. And the same with God. God is not always going to be there. So, I mean, he's always there, he's omnipresent. What I mean to say is his moves, they come and go. And we do know that. So. When there's a river, it's time to jump in. It's time to be saturated with the presence of God. It's time to be allowed, it's, it's time for us to allow the Holy Spirit as a river to take us where he wants to go. It's signs like this, this gate that stops us, prevents us. And I believe that's just from fear and it's also from religion, from tradition of man. And so, these signs, this gate like this, in the spiritual, it can actually stop you from moving forward with God, which is not a good thing. So, best to go around the sign in the spiritual, amen, and run into the water. Run while it's near. As the verse again says in Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Amen. And so when you do that, you will not only be saturated by the presence of God, but others will see it also. Like when people will walk by these trees, see, this is the Catawba River, and uh, it's here in Rock Hill, and it's not going anywhere, this river. But the 
water that's around these trees, which is the, actually the bank, it's not always going to stay flooded. But it's left a mark. And so when people come around here to drive down this road, which will not be flooded because the water will recede and the wind will dry it up. Right now, there's a heavy wind blowing right now. And this will all be gone. But those trees will be saturated with water and it'll leave a mark on the bark. And we want people to see on us the river of the Holy Spirit because we were faithful to jump in to the river and God's left a mark on us for all to see. Praise God. So I hope this teaching blesses you and I encourage you to jump in the river. <laughs> Praise God. God bless you all. I love you. Praise God. Be faithful to him in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.